Hello guys, we are back at Code Academy. You know, I like to learn stuff, so we're gonna learn some HTML and CSS. CSS. I've never touched this stuff before, so it's gonna be new for me and new for you guys if you wanna learn it too. Why learn HTML? Okay. Update as we type. Every web page you look at is written in a language called HTML. You can think of HTML as a skeletal tool that gives every web page structure. In this course, we'll use H, excuse me, HTML to add paragraphs, headings, images, and links to a web page. In the editor of the right, there's a tab called test.html. This is this is the file where we'll type our HTML into. See the codes code with the hmm. This is this 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 this. That's HTML. Like any language, it has its own special syntax rules for communicating. When we press save and submit, the React like in a browser, blah blah browser's job is to transform code to test.html to a recognizable web page. It knows how to lay out the page by following the HTML syntax. So we have a test.html file. Change text on line two, the bit between the strongs. We'll learn what this means later, I guess. To anything you'd like. Um, this is pretty cool. So I guess that's that, I guess. Okay. Interesting enough. Okay, submit. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext means text with links in it. Anytime you click on a word that brings you on a new web page, you clipped on hyper blah 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 on hypertext. Markup language is a programming language used to make text do more than just sit on a page. It can turn text into images, links, tables, lists, and much more. HTML is the markup language we'll be learning. What makes web page pretty? That's CSS, cascading system sheets. Think of it like skin and makeup that covers the bones of HTML. We'll learn HTML first, then worry about CSS in later courses. The first thing we should do is set up a skeletal. Always put. So this is going to be important. We got to put. This, let's control V it, control C it, then control V it. So we're gonna need this always, it looks like, on the first line. This tells about what it's reading, in this case, HTML. So this tells us this HTML. Always put HTML. So we need to use these on the next line. This starts the HTML, so it doesn't start here. Always put slash HTML on the last line, which ends, go ahead and put the three lines mentioned in between the second and last line feel free to write whatever message you like so I guess we'll put our slash HTML here okay go to P and say test I guess basically okay so cool okay so let's just say this is cool this is cool period okay fair enough I like that. That's cool. To learn more HTML, we should learn how to talk about HTML. You've already seen we use those things a lot. Okay, tags. These things are inside are called tags. Tags nearly always come in pairs. An opening tag and a closing tag. Example of opening tag HTML. Example of closing tag slash HTML. You think of tags as being like parentheses. Whenever you put open one, you should close it. Tags also nest, so you can close them in the right order. The most recently opened tag should be the first one. Close like the example below. First tag, second tag, some text. Slash second tag. Well, that's guys taught us how to set up HTML file. Everything we will do now will go between HTML and each practice one more. So we have to put this because we just learned that that this goes first always. And then if I remember we have to do just HTML right between HTML between HTML tags right whatever you like so um, I have done this three times now three times now and then yeah slash HTML did we do that right yes we did because we're geniuses. Okay. 
make everything in our HTML file go between the tags, which these are the tags. There are always two parts from HTML file, the head the and the body. Let's start with the head. The head contains information, so like my mic's freaking out right now, I just moved it. Contains information about your HTML file, like its title. The title is whatever we see in the browser's title bar or page title, like this is the title bar. Basics code, yep. Yeah. Let's add a head and a title to our web page. If you get stuck in a point click stuck, get a hint. Add an opening tag. So Oh I see. So our tag is going to be let's see if we can do this here. Head. And I guess our, it's gonna be test. And then the end of our head is gonna be slash head. Right between the head and the between the head ah do we have to do um, is this what we have to do? We have, after this, we have to do T-I-T-L-E, title, and then after this, we have to do slash T-I-T-I-T-L-E. Ah, I see it's changed here, but if that hasn't changed, mm. right, and for your page, for example, right, my web page, okay. So we'll write my web page and see if I was on because I probably was. Web my web page, okay. I don't see where it's changed. Full screen it. Um. Back to edit. I don't see it's changed. I do something wrong. No. Okay. I did something. I did it right. I did it right. Yep, okay. I just lined it up a little bit differently. Great job to review it. HTML file has both a head and a body. The head is where you put the information about your HTML file, like its title. The body is where you put your content, such as text, images, and links to content in the body, is what will be visual on the actual page. The body goes inside the HTML tags, right after the head tag, like this. So, the body goes after that. Okay, so, you know what? Let's add our body. Because start our body right here, and then we'll end our body right here. Awesome. Underneath the closing tags, slash head, put an opening body and a closing body tag, like in the example above. We did that. Inside the body, create two paragraphs. Each paragraph starts with an opening P tag and ends with a closing P tag. We can write content like this. Okay, okay, I see now. This makes sense. So we'll start our paragraph. And whatever, this seems easy to me. I wonder if we can do it this way. Um, let's just type hello world like they did. Um, awesome. So, boop. Um, save and submit. Looks like you have, oh. Do I have to do it exactly like they did? Can I not do it like that? Okay, let's see. Yeah, it looks like so. It looks like that is how it has to go. Oops. What do you mean I have two? I did exactly what you did. Um, let me see what I did, and I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So I see the problem. It wanted us to have two, and hello world will just be like, yeah. And slash p. I mean, this. Do, I mean, it looks easy enough, right? Right. Awesome. Twenty-five exercises. Um. So, that's five for today. Thank you for watching. And please leave a like, subscribe. I just learn.